We're on. Okay, I think we're on. We'll wait for a couple more people to show up. It's okay if you smile. You can see us on here, huh? Mm -hmm. It's live right now. Okay, I know we've got at least one person watching. Um, do you want Benji to grab that from you? Yes, I do. Is it all set up and ready to go? Yes, it is. Sure, Benji. Okay. So let's set up. All right. We're just getting everything started. And we'll go ahead and we'll set this right here. All right. See, there's a little bit of a delay. Look. If you look in this one, it's a little bit different than this one. Okay, we've got some people showing up. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. We are going to do a fun project today, and today I have a very special guest. Benji really wanted to join me on this, and so we have a project that we are going to do together, and I'm so glad that you're with me. We're going to have fun, huh? Yeah. Can you say hi to everyone? Hi. Do you remember where the camera is? It's on that dot right there. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras over to the other stand, so bear with me for just one second. Sorry about my big old hand in your way. Can you take that, bud? Okay, we're just going to, I'm just waiting for everything to catch up. I do have a little monitor to help me see where everything is. And hopefully we are all lined up. I'm just catching up. I'm just going to grab a couple more things while I'm waiting for that to catch up. Looks like we're pretty well centered. Okay. So we are going to be working with shrink film. How many of you did shrinky dinks when you were growing up? Also, Darren, feel free to jump in anytime yeah, you get a chance. Nice. Darren, thankfully, is helping me with moderating again today. And um, so I've, it's just, it's a family affair today. So anyway, these are, this is shrink film that you can buy from Brutus Monroe. And it's just like shrinky, it's, it's what you used when you did shrinky dinks growing up. And I thought it would be fun to do a project using this. So we are going to use this and we are going to use these two stamp sets that are really cute. This one, okay, so uh, Christopher Allen, the Mom's CEO, on. what was that? Mom is on. Hi, Mom. She said hi, Benji. Darren's Benji. mom is on. So hi, Ruth. <laughs> and uh, so th this is called Christopher's Shoes because Christopher Allen loves Chucks. He has an extensive collection you when I say extensive I mean extensive he has like every color of the rainbow they're really cool but anyway so th this is a nod to that and these are just super cute I don't know if you can see it really well against that you could probably see it better if I hold it against the white super cute so we're gonna use those and this stamp set is really cute this one is called gnome place like home I'll hold it up so you can see it better and it's really, you know, it kind of looks like it has a Christmassy feel to it. Brenda's but the fun thing about it, hi Brenda. The fun thing about it is you've got, you do have some elements from Christmas, but the gnomes themselves, you could use those all year long. Look at them, they're so cute. And so we're going to use one of those. Okay, I think we're okay so far. And so I went ahead and stamped these a little earlier because it does take a while. I'm sure you can use different kinds of inks. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to use, but I want, well, that's not true. I, I wanted to use the Raven Detail ink from Brutus Monroe, but I wasn't sure how long it would take to dry and I wasn't sure about smearing or anything, but I did use this and I did give it plenty of time to dry. So we're gonna go ahead. I'll, I'll just show you, I stamped it on my Misty. I've got it in here. The shrink film has two sides and one side is a little, um, it's a little tricky to figure that out, but one side is a little less smooth than the other. So I, I kind of just grabbed the rougher side to do the stamping on. And 
I went ahead and just stuck it in my Misty and this one should be dry and ready to go. So I'm just going to take it out. I did cut this down already. And this would be fun to do a whole bunch on at one time. And there, you know, you want to use up all of your paper if you can. So we're just going to move this out of the way. And we have got our two little images. All right. So one thing I'm going to do really quick, and then I'm going to have Benji jump in and help me, is when you're cutting these out, I think we'll go ahead and we'll cut them out so that we can both have them separated before we color them. I'm going to hand Benji his, and Benji, you're going to want to, I'll just have you come off to the side a little bit, and here, go ahead and set those over on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole right now. This is just a standard size hole punch because after we shrink them, we're going to want to turn it into something he can just put on like his backpack or, you know, on his shoelaces or something. And I will cut that out differently after he's got it colored. But for now, oh, let's give him, shoe. yeah, you go ahead and you start coloring yours. And then just do whatever you want. They don't have to be the same. He, he made one earlier. He was just making sure he didn't need to do it just like the other one. We wanted to do a practice run to make sure we... Debbie is on and Theresa's yeah. on. Hi, Theresa. Hi, Debbie. Okay. So, as far as the ink goes, it probably still could smear a little bit if I wasn't careful. So, I am going to kind of avoid the, the ink a little bit, but not crazily. So, I'm just going to do a quick color of this guy. And I hope you can see that. Can you see that okay? It looks like you can. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just start with his beard. We'll just give him some curly whiskers. <coughs> These are so fun. How is everybody doing today anyway? I don't think I even asked that. I'm sorry? Cheryl Schultz is on. Hi, Cheryl. All right, and we're going to get his little mustache. And I'm doing a pretty quick job. You know me in coloring. We're just going to have to move along a little faster than I normally would. And then, let's see, let's grab some fun colors. So earlier, the one that I made that you'll see the, the example at the end, Benji's idea, he said he thought it should be rainbow. So that one will have a pretty cool hat. And all I did was just do, <laughs> you can't see, but anyway, I don't think, well, maybe, I don't know, we'll see in a minute, because we do have a delay. But anyway, we'll, um, we'll see what you think of that. On this guy, I think, anybody have ideas for colors on this guy? We'll start with just giving him kind of a pinky tone. And so fun and so easy. And colored pencils are the easiest thing I've found. I haven't tried doing this with, with anything else, but um, these seem to... These seem to work just fine. These are Arteza pencils. And I think we'll just give them some, let's see. We'll give them some black boots. Seal gone. Hi, Seal. Um, yeah, I can scoot over a little bit. Benji wants you to get to see what he's got going on too. It's okay if I can tell them what's going on. Um, yeah. So basically what I'm basically doing is that I'm doing a rainbow type of shoe and it's going to be rainbow with this color. It's what color is that? It's going, it is a silver. I'm going to use the silver color on this part right here. And then I will make sure I do not touch the black because if I do, it'll smear it around. 
So Benji, ever since he was very little, if you asked him what his favorite color was, probably up until he turned eight, he would tell you rainbow. Oh, I used it wrong. Because it is my is favorite color. Well, technically it's not one color. It's all of the colors. Right. But you just love all those colors, don't you? Yep. I do too. I have a hard time settling on one favorite color. What are your guys' favorite colors? Do you have one favorite color or does it change with the with the seasons? Let's see, we'll just give this guy. This is probably one of my favorite colors. I just love turquoise. It just is a calming, pretty color. Goes with everything. So as you can see right here, I did black on the shoelaces because last time on mine, on mine, I didn't do the, when we were doing the practice one, I didn't do the, uh, the one that, because mine was a little <laughs> different. It had brown with black on the inside. The shoelaces weren't colored, but this time I'm having the shoelaces colored and I'm using so this color for them. Who loves pink? Cheryl. Cheryl, I love pink too. If you asked me a few years ago what my favorite color was, it was pink for a long, long time, but then I just couldn't be committed to that forever. I just love so many colors. Sierra's purple and, and mom loves blue. And uh, mom loves blue and who loves purple? Seal. Seal loves purple. That's my favorite. That is Darren's favorite color too. That is awesome. What color should we do that hat? Let's see. Should we do some green? Let's do some. I think we should do some rainbow. Green. Well, we did rainbow on the other one, so I oh. think we'll do this a little different than the other one. Okie dokie. Just for variety's sake. That's like and for the, so this part hang on, right hang here. Hang on one second. I'm Dad's telling gonna... me something. Hang on one sec. What did you say? That's like serene. I've never heard of that color. It's blue. It's a beautiful blue. Anyway. I have chose this type of orange, and it is basically just an orange. I used it. It on says right here. Oh. It is. Yep, you're right. It is just basically an orange. Just and, says orange. And I'm honestly using this color for well, this like part green, and this yeah. part right there. Oh, I love green too. Now we are going to use the orange right here and here all right we are gonna speed things up a little bit because i am taking too long to color i really just have a hard time rushing i don't take that long you know we're taught to color in the lines and take our time and i take that too far sometimes i do think i missed it sorry ben right across your face yep, it's fine. i missed a couple little spots of beard up here and to here as you can see what i'm doing with the with the space gray, I'm using it for this part of the rainbow, making sure to not get all of those colors. Way to give good back. instructions, bud. And I will use this type of blue. I don't know if it's a type of blue. What is it's, this? Um, kind of a metallic. That one actually is a different line, but that's, a different, that's got a metallic. A, this one's gonna be the best one because it's the metallic type of one. Honestly, it's a blue one. And uh, who, who said that? Use... June. Hi, June. And... Hi, Heather. And we are going Looking to use my the rest of the blue right here. Are there some scissors like this over there? Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Who? Hi, Val. And as you could see, I am done. Way to go. You did great. Do you want to cut it out or do you want me to? I want to cut it out. Okay, I'll give you and I'll give you that pair and I'll use this pair. Now make sure you leave a little bit of space around all of it and right here kind of cut it into a circle like we did on the other one. Okay? Okay. So? So do you want to see how I do it first? See how much space I'm leaving? And if it has a really tight corner, yours yours doesn't have any tight corners. You're probably okay. 
as you can see right here I am being as careful as I can be I am weaving some space doing a great job I don't know what that is okay all right these are the detail scissors these are awesome <laughs> Darren is putting links up to anything I'm using, pretty much. And I'm not going to get too, like, nitty-gritty into the details of the stamp because um, it's all going to shrink anyway. Keep that in mind. But you can see how I'm cutting around this little loop because I want to be able to attach that afterwards. How's it going, bud? And then I'm going to save it's all of going this. Great! It is going absolutely great. You are you are almost done. You did. I am actually awesome. done already. Perfect. Okay, we'll just set those to the side. So right And will here, you grab that little green bucket? I finished the entire thing. You I'm sure did. Right now we are. Going those are pretty cool shoes, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Now we are going to grab the Ex green bucket. This is our. So this is my ugly bucket. This is what I use for spraying. So excuse it, it's kind of ugly, but you can see it's well used. Now she'll be using the, um, heat, the tool? heat tool to shrink it because yeah. that's what we did on the other card for our the, practice. Yeah, they will see that in just a minute. Okay, so I always thought that you had to use an oven to make shrinky dinks or whatever. These aren't technically shrinky dinks, but shrink art, I guess we'll call it. But you can just use your heat tool if you've got one of those. And I will tell you, because it's going to get loud for a minute, so don't panic if they start to curl up, because they are likely to. And, and, we... if, and if they curl up, that means that they will curl back out from the time being that they will, as soon as they shrink from the heat from this, they will go into a ball, but don't worry, because they'll just unfold. And okay. And they'll turn small. Just All right. like what we did on our Let's practice. do it. We'll do yours first. Yeah, it works out great. Otherwise, it'll fly around anyway, so. As you can see right now, it is basically shrinking into a smaller size. Once again, don't worry, it'll unfold. You're a natural, Ben. Okay, I don't know if it's supposed to shrink that much, but we'll we'll see what we can do to undo it. So and we're just going to like kind of... It's going to get quite small. Just like on our practice one, it got small. Yeah, it's going to get pretty small before it's done shrinking. Okay, there it goes. See, it's starting to un... You're going to laugh when you see how tiny this is. I always forget how tiny they get at the very end. And from before, they were paper, and now they are plastic. Yeah, they are kind of like the plastic, huh? Yep, but they're okay. just hotter. Okay, let me just it's make sure hotter. it's flat. And, and it's probably... i got to do the other one. Let's let that rest there. It's hot. It's hot. Careful not to burn you. It's not that hot. It's pretty hot. It's not that hot to me. Well, Whew, right our little here. nun. Okay, hang on, and we'll show both of them. Why what was that? Why my vest. Oh, my guest! I love my guest too. Thank you. Okay, look, our gnome is almost done already. All right, we have almost got this. Can you take the bucket? Yes, I will. Thank you. It's so nice to have an assistant. Is it okay if you can do this on some of the other lives? We'll talk about that later, but you did a good job, so probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they harden right up. It's pretty immediate. And you can see they are much, much, much smaller than the other ones. They started out, I'll show you, what was that? Yeah, they said great job, Benji. Can I show them? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. 
Thank you guys for appreci for appreciating me. I love that. <laughs> All right, so this Karen is says hi. Karen does hi, Karen. So like, hi, Karen. you got quite a little shrinkage there, huh? And then this is this is how big the gnome was that we were working with. And then these are so fun. You can do all kinds of things. Now that we've got our little holes in there, you can put those little um, those little chains with the with the balls and the little hook. I don't know what those are called. I'm sure they have a technical term. String. You could use string. You could put a cord in there and use it for a necklace. Whatever you want to do. You could but... also use a yarn ball type of string because. Yeah. But you would have to like carve it a bit more smaller. Do you want to show the ones you this? colored earlier? Mm-hmm. Here's what I did earlier from for the practice. From right here, it looked like it looked from the here. It looked brown, brown from here, black here, red here. Shoelaces weren't colored, black here, and the white was here. But now, this one looks like a rainbow one. As Isn't that fun that here. you can get different looks from the same thing? Yes, you can. Very and you fun. You can also use like. I don't know if you could use markers. But... I'm not sure what kinds of markers. I was afraid to use alcohol markers because I was afraid maybe they would burn, but I don't know. I didn't try it. Speaking of burn. What was that? A, dump, a jump, jump ring. ring. Oh, yeah, that would be good, too. So this is the card that I made with the gnome. I told you that uh, Benji had me make one with the <coughs> with a rainbow hat. And the kind of funny thing I just noticed is the shrinkage can uh, vary. This one's a little taller and skinnier, but it's actually the same stamp. So kind of funny how that works. This one probably could have gone a little longer. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is what I did with it. I just, because I had that little hole in it, I was able to tie a little string in it and have a little embellishment for my card. And look how cute the little saying for that set is, there's no one like you. And I think that there's no one like you, Ben. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Have I missed any questions, Darren? Um, no, they're saying cute, very cool. Uh, Karen said she loves gnomes. I love gnomes too. Karen makes these really cute gnome mugs. They're darling. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a lot of fun. Benji is a great assistant and a great partner, huh? Yep, I am. And I don't know about you, but this is something I thought was really just something you could do all kinds of things with with your kids or your grandkids this summer. Um, I would love to hear some of your ideas of what to do with these little charms. What do you want to say for the ending? And for the ending, I want to make sure that all of you are doing fine from this quarantine and that you are all being safe and, and trying to stay safe in your house and to stay away from six from six feet distance of people so that Social you can be distancing. safe. Good yeah. job, bud. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. I really enjoy doing these and, and spending time with you guys. And we will see you again next week. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Ah, see ya. Bye.